Good morning, boys and girls. Today is Monday, August 17th, and today we are going to be doing our first math lesson. So what I want you guys to do is grab a pencil and a piece of paper or a whiteboard and a whiteboard marker just so you can kind of follow along and maybe draw some examples on your board yourself. Today we're going to be focusing on a couple of learning targets. So for math today, we're going to be focusing on I am learning to use repeated addition to represent a number of equal groups. I am learning to represent multiplication with models. And I am learning to use model drawing strategies to help me solve word problems. So to get started today, we're going to, our objective is to understand equal groups of as multiplication. So we're going to be grouping numbers together and representing that through multiplication. So to start out, we're going to just count to 20 and then we're gonna count backwards down from 20. So I'll hold my finger up when we're counting up and then as we're going down, I'll switch it, okay? So count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Now let's go backwards. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good job. All right, next we're going to count forward to 20 and backwards again. But instead of going one at a time, we're going to do what's called skip counting and go by twos, okay? So let's start. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. Now let's go backwards from 20. 20, 18, 16, 14, 12, 10, eight, six, four, two. Good job. So what did we just count by in this last time we counted? We counted by twos, okay? All right, so next we're going to skip count to find the total number of objects, okay? If I was to have 10 students come to the front of the classroom, we're not in class right now, physically. So I drew 10 people on my sheet right here, okay? So I said, okay, 10 students, I choose you, 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 and I chose 10 of you to come up to the front, okay? And I said, hold your hands in the air. How many arms does each student have? Two, okay? So since we each represent a group of two, we're going to skip count by two to find out how many arms we have raised, okay? So we would go two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, okay? How many raised arms do we have in all? We have 20, okay? And then I would say, okay, you know, return to your desks. Thanks for your help. All right, so our next problem is we are trying to understand the relationship between repeated addition, counting groups in unit form, and multiplication equations, okay? So let's say that I have 12 counters. You could get 12 jelly beans, 12 buttons, 12 pennies, whatever you wanted, okay? And I said, I want you to use your 12 counters and I want you to make equal groups of two, okay? So we have 12. How would we make those equal groups of two? So go ahead and on your whiteboard, go ahead and write you know, draw 12 little circles or 12 of something and put them into groups of two. Pause the video, put them in groups of two and then come back. All right, 
So if I was to put them in groups of two, let me hold this up so I can write on it. I would say, all right, I'm gonna put this first group in two. And my second group in a group of two. See how there's two in each group? And this is how you would do it, all right? All right, so how many equal groups of two did we make? Well, let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six. We made six equal groups of how many counters? Six equal groups of two counters. So six equal groups of two counters is equal to how many counters all together? If I say all together, we could figure that out by counting them one at a time, or we could do our skip counting. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. We have 12 counters all together, okay? Good job. All right, let's see what is next. All right, so they all have two in them. So our answer is 12, because we skip counted in an equal 12. Okay, so you have to count two six times because there are six groups of them. So we went two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, okay? Well, if we were to write that as multiplication, it would be six times, which is like a little X sign, two. Six times two is 12, okay? Next, we're going to write multiplication with equal groups, okay? Well, first, hold on, let me explain this to you. Okay, so this is an example of what we just did. I have two plus two plus two plus two plus two plus two, okay? Those are six twos, which is equal to 12, okay? And then I wrote down here a multiplication. Six times two equals 12, okay? Hopefully you guys can see that correctly. All right, now we're going to uh, go on to equal groups, okay? So, Right here on my paper, I have two equal groups. We could call these chocolate chip cookies, and these are chocolate chips, or they could be buttons, or whatever you wanna imagine them as, okay? There's the same number of gray, well, mine are orange, not gray, orange circles in each one, in each shape. So each circle has four little orange circles, okay? I want you on your whiteboard, to write this, and I want you to write a repeated addition problem and a multiplication sentence for this picture. What would that look like? What plus what equals what? What times what equals what? So go ahead and pause the video if you need to, okay, while you work through that. All right, so this is called repeated addition and multiplication sentences. So, okay, how would we write that? Well, on my whiteboard, to show that, that um, picture that we just did, there were four colored orange dots in each big circle. So I did four plus four. Well, if I add those together, that is equal to eight, okay? But if I wanna do a multiplication, I could take those two cookies that we talked about. Let me draw my little cookies right here. Put my four dots in them so we can see that visually. Okay, there's that. So that's four plus four equals eight. I could take and say, well, in order to make that a multiplication problem, I could do two times, how many chocolate chips are in there? Well. One, two, three, four. Two cookies times four, because they each have four chocolate chips, 
that is eight. So this addition problem, four plus four equals eight, is the same if we turn it into multiplication as two times four equals eight. And that is what we are working on this week in math. So now I want you guys to go into your Zern math, which is through your Clever. Click on the little yellow box that says Zern. And you're going to go in and you're going to work on your module one, lesson one for this week for math, okay? If you have any questions, um, have your parents email me, send me a message in Google Classroom or whatever you need to do so that I can help you to be successful. And I hope that you guys have a great day and I'm so excited that you're in my class, all right? I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.